Hello everyone, this is BK from Coco Zini. I have a beautiful tutorial for you today. It's an off shoulder magazine dress that I'm wearing right here. I use a cotton wax blend for this dress. It is also called an Ankara fabric. If you are new to my channel or if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell down below. You will get notified if I have any new uploads on here. If you are a returning subscriber, I hope I'm able to help you with your sewings. And don't forget to share my videos and recommend it to your friends. Um, if you like this dress and you live within the US and you want me to make one for you, send me an email. My email will be in the description box below. Okay, let's get started. Here are the measurements and the sewing materials for this dress. Grab your fabric and fold it. I folded mine 18 inches. I'm trying to be savvy with the, with the fabric. Here's how I got the 18 inches. It's the fullest part of my body, which is my hips, divided by four plus seven. After that, I'm just going to measure out three inches out from the fold. That three inches is going to be the ease of the gathers. So if you want more, ease and gathers you can just go ahead and um, add more to that three inches and I, I, mine is just three inches which is okay for me I don't want it to be too full so I'm going to square it out here I'm going to draw the line from the top to how long I want the dress to be I'm going to measure two inches from the top like I just did here and mark it then I'm going to square it out. I'm going to draw a line on that two inches line, like so. My dress is going to be 35 inches long. So I'm going to go ahead and add one inch hem, making 36. Then I'm going to add half an inch for the top part, making 36 and a half. Okay, so here is what we're going to do next. We're going to go ahead and measure five inches. So that five inches is going to be our off shoulder. So every measurement that we're going to do from the top is going to be, it's going to start from five inches because that is the part that is the off shoulder. So I'm going to start from five inches. So that five inches is going to be on the line that I marked up there. Then I'm going to go all the way down to um, the 36 inches. I don't have enough space, so I'm just gonna, you know, do what I can do here. So that's 35, 36 and a half inches, sorry. So I'm going to mark it down there too. Then I will go ahead and um, square it out. So that's how long I want my dress to be. So you can choose whatever length you want your dress to be. Make sure you had one and a half inches, one inch for, one inch for him and half inch for the top part. And start the measurement for five inches at the top. We're going to mark our hips. So we're going to find our shoulder to hips measurement. Mine is 24. So I'm going to start the measurement from the five inches like I did earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and square it here by drawing a line. Remember, start from the five inches. Now we're going to need the measurement of our shoulder to shoulder. My shoulder to shoulder is 15 divided by two is seven and a half. So I'm marking my right there. And I'm also making sure that the line or the measurement start from the three inches line that we marked earlier. So I'm going to mark half an inch on that mark that I just made. This is the front bodies. So we're just going to curve in that half an inch into that shoulder line right there. So that is for the front. Now we're going to need the circumference of our armhole measurement. Mine is 18 divided by two is nine. So before I mark down that nine, I'm going to go ahead and square it out. I'm just going to draw a line down from the shoulder line like that. Then remember, 
we're going to start from the five again. So I'm pushing the five up there. I'm putting the five on the line. Then I'm going to mark out the nine inches right there. I'm going to drop the ham hole a little bit. So I'm going to add two inches to the ham hole like that. So it's going to be a little free and ease. So I'm going to also square it out and draw a line on that mark that I just did. We're now going to need the measurement of the fullest part of our body. Mine is my hips divided by four. So mine is 44 divided by four is 11 and I'm marking it right there. And I'm going, I'm starting the measurement, remember from that three inches line. So mine is 11, I have marked it on that line. Then I'm also going to add one inch seam allowance right there. Then I'm going to measure one inch at the corner right there. I'm just going to make, uh, measure out one inch and going to mark it. Then I'm just going to get the curve ruler to join the two lines, the horizontal line and the vertical line. So that's going to be my ammo curve like that. That's the ammo. We're going to move to our hip line and we're going to put the same measurement there. So we're starting from that three inches line again, right there. So we're going to put the measurement of our hips divided by four plus one inch seam allowance. Mine is 44 divided by four is 11 plus one inch seam allowance, 12. Then we're just going to join the lines together from the bust, I mean, the ammo line to the hip line. Then we're just going to extend it also to the hem line, which is how long we want our, our um, dress to be. So that's the hem line down there. We're just going to join it there too, like that. I want my, a, um, my dress to have a little a liney kind of a way. So I'm going to add one inch there. I'm just going to mark it. Then I'm going to blend it into those lines. I don't have a specific measurement for where to end the blending. So I'm just going to kind of grade and just blend it into the, you know, the seam like, like that. We're going to go ahead and start cutting. And when we get to the top, we're going to start from the fold. Remember, we cut out a three inch, I mean, we marked out a three inch line. So we're going to start from the fold. We're going to cut through that three inches line. Then we're going to cut all the way to the shoulder line. And we're going to continue cutting. I have folded out the back bodies and I have placed the front bodies on top of the back bodies. So I'm going to use the front bodies to cut the back bodies. Remember in the front on that shoulder line, we measured um, half an inch right there on the shoulder line for the front. But for the back, we're going to measure one inch and a quarter like that then we're going to square it out that way then we're going to get our curve ruler and we're just going to blend it in like we did with the front part too so we're just going to curve it out like that so that's the only different from for the for the back bodies so we're just going to go ahead and align it. And we're going to go ahead and cut it out. Like that. 
So that's just the only difference we have. We're just going to go all the way up there on the back bodies. Then we're just going to go ahead and um, continue cutting just like we have it in the front bodies. I'm done cutting. Here is the front and here is the back. We're now going to cut our sleeves. I've already cut out my sleeves, which is 24 inches by 17 inches. So with the right side facing each other. Here is how I got my measurement. So I did the measurement of my armhole, which is the circumference of my armhole, which is 18 inches plus four inches is and two inches seam allowance. Then I want my sleeves to be 15 inches long starting from my shoulder plus one inch hem and one inch at the top when i'm done i'm going to grab my back bodice and here's what i'm going to do on the side of that sleeve i'm going to place the back bodice on the side making sure the top of the bodice is starting from the top of the sleeve then I'm going to trace it out like I'm doing right now and that is at one side or one edge so I'm going to just um, to notch it so I'll know this is the back so I'm putting two notches in there just for me to know that this is the back what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just square out the arm O line and here I think I have seven and a half I have to make sure the other side is seven and a half too. So I'm going to mark out the ammo line. That's where the ammo ends all the way down to the other side of the sleeves. Then I'm going to make sure that I have the same amount there because sometimes, you know, the ruler goes different ways. So when I'm done, I'm going to grab my, my front bodice. Then I'm going to align the shoulder or the ammo to the line, the ammo line that I marked. So I'm going to go ahead and trace it out. If you notice, you see that the back shoulder is higher than the front body's shoulder. So I kind of marked it right there at the end of that trace that I traced out. Then I will grab my um, ruler to grade it out. Here I'm folding it into two just to know the center of the sleeve. So I'm grabbing my um, curve ruler. So I'm going to grade or just curve the line from the front shoulder to the middle like that. And I'm going to do the same thing to the back of the sleeves. So I'm just going to curve it so it meets in the middle like that. So that's the, um, I mean, that's the sleeves. When you're done, make sure you notch the front and the back. So I notch, I'm notching the front one time and I'm notching the back two times. So this is just for, to identify, you know, front and the back. So before you cut it on that arm O mark, half inch then grade it all the way down to this sleeve hem we're going to do the same thing to the other side so I'm going to mark half inch then I'm just going to go ahead and grade it down like that then go ahead and cut it out when you're cutting it remember I'm going to put my notches that is two notches to the to the back then I put one notch to the front those are the notches. Then finish cutting the top of the sleeves. I'm adding pockets to mine. So if you need, um, if you want this pocket, I have, a, I will leave a link down below. It's on my website. You can go download it there. And if you don't want a pocket, you can just go ahead and skip this part. Another thing you can do is just, you can just go ahead and put your hand on the fabric. Make sure you have the fabric um, folded in two or four because you need four pieces then you're just going to get a marker and you're going to trace around your palm 
like this. And that's it. Just cut it out and cut four pieces. So right here, I'm going to mark where I want the pocket to start from. I'm going to measure 10 inches, but I would advise you use seven or eight inches. Um, I love my pocket to be very, very low. So 10 inches is a, 10 inches is a very low pocket. So I, I, I would rather you use seven and eight. But if you like a very low pocket, you can go with, also go with what I did. But I, um, but it's very, very low. So anyways, um, grab one of the pocket that you cut out. Then you're going to put it like one inch above the line that you marked and make sure that it's um, right side facing each other. The right side of the pocket is facing the right side of the bodice. Then go ahead and pin it together. When you're done pinning, you're going to go um, to the machine and you're going to stitch it with a quarter of an inch seam. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side of the bodice and also to the back bodice. I'm done with the pocket. I have turned it to the right side and I have ironed it. So here is what it looks like. I did the same thing to the other side. We're going to start joining the bodies together. So put the right side of the front bodies on top of the right side of the back bodies. Make sure everything is aligned and we are going to start sewing starting from the ammo. So you're going to sew with one inch seam allowance. Then when you get to one inch after the pocket, you pivot. And when you get to that corner, you're going to pivot again. You're going to sew half an inch on the pocket. Then when you get to an inch before the end of the pocket, you're going to pivot again and sew on top of the seam one inch. Then you continue with one inch all the way down. Do the same to the other side. I'm done sewing it together. I have also finished the edges of the seam with a, with a sewing serger. Like that. And I, have, I also finished the edge of the pocket too. Okay, so I did the same thing to the other side of the dress. Now we're going to grab our sleeves. With right side facing each other, we're going to fold it. And we are going to pin it together. Make sure the sides are aligned properly. When, you, when we're done pinning, we're going to take it to the machine and we're going to sew it with one inch seam allowance. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm done sewing the side seam of the sleeves together and I've also finished the edges of both of the sleeves. So we're now going to grab our bodice. Turn your sleeves to the right side, like I'm doing right here. So I'm going to turn the two of them to the right side. And I'm going to grab my bodies. I'm going to open up my bodies like that. That is the right side of the fabric. As you can see, that's the back and that's the front. That's the back and that's the front. So we're going to check for the back of the sleeve. Remember the back of the sleeve is the one that has the two notches. So I've picked up one of my sleeves. So the notch is supposed to match with the back bodice. So these sleeves that I have right now only have one notch there. So that means that's not the right sleeve. So I'm going to go grab the other sleeve. And I can see it has two notches. 
So I'm going to put it in. I'm going to make sure you know that the holes, the armholes are aligned. So that's the notch that I have for the back, and that is the back of the bodies. So I'm going to align them together, and I'm going to go ahead and pin them together, making sure that the right side of the fabric are facing each other. So once I get to the middle, right there, of where the seam, the side seam of the bodies and the um, the sleeve is, I'm going to make sure I align that I align that line together and pin it in. Then I'm going to continue pinning from there. When you're done pinning, you can take it to the machine and sew it down with half an inch seam allowance. I am I'm done joining the sleeves together, the sleeves and the bodies together, and I've also finished the edges of it. Okay, so when you're done with this, you're going to place your bodies down flat on the table like I'm doing here. Then you're going to measure that neck. Mine is 34 inches. So you're going to cut so you're going to cut a fabric that is 30 that is 68 inches long. Since I don't have enough fabric to cut a 68 inches long, I'm just going to cut 35 inches by 4 inches wide. And the reason for my 35 inches is just I'm adding 1 inch to each of this two casing pieces that I cut to join together at each of the sides. These are my measurements. Make sure you use your measurement. With the right side of the fabric facing each other, stitch the elastic casing with half inch seam allowance at both of the ends. I'm done joining the elastic casing and here is what it looks like. So here is the wrong side of that casing and um, the bodies is on the right side. So we're going to put the bodies inside the casing like, like this. Just remember the casing is on the wrong side and the bodies is on the right side. Okay, so we're going to align the top of the bodies to the top of the casing. And we have the right side of the of the casing facing the right side of the bodies. Then we're going to go ahead and pin them together all around. And when you're done pinning them together, you're going to take it to the machine and sew it at quarter of an inch seam allowance. I'm done sewing with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. I have sewn it all around. That's the same. And I've also ironed it towards the casing. And here is what it looks like. So what we're going to do next is that we are going to fold the top with half an inch seam. Then we're going to fold it on top of the seam that we just finished sewing. We're going to pin it down. Okay, you're going to fold it. I mean, if you, you can always like fold it first and use an iron to hold it in place, then you fold it one more time on top of that seam that we just finished making. Then we use a pin to hold it together. You're going to do this all the way around. Just be careful that you're not over folding it. When you're done pinning it all around, you're going to stitch it from the right side of the bodies and you're going to stitch it on that line, on that stitch line. So when you're stitching it 
you just make sure while you're stitching it you're catching the end at the back of it as you're stitching it you're sewing also at the edge of the casing fold at the back I'm going to show you what it looks like when I get done at the end of your stitch before you finish your stitch you're going to leave a space a one inch and a half to allow for the elastic I'm done sewing it around here is what it looks like so that is the front part and that is the back then also that is a space that I left for the elastic to get and um, to insert the elastic well I'm using a three-quarter elastic and I want a little ruffle on top of the elastic so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch starting from the top I'm going to sew it all the way around I'm done sewing it and here's what it looks like so that's the seam on top and that is the back that is what it looks like right there so my elastic will fit into into that space because I'm using three-quarter elastic so if you're using half elastic you can bring down the seam to like half of the casing so now I have to add the elastic I'm using a three-quarter inch elastic to know the right measurement that you're going to use take the elastic and pull it around your shoulder and um, make sure you stretch it a little bit then cut it out when you have the exact stretch that that you desire I'm going to insert the elastic into the casing so I'm going to use a safety pin so I'm going to hook it to the elastic then I'm going to look for that little space that I left it's right there so I'm going to put the um, safety pin inside then now we'll pull and move it like so then I'm going to pull and I'm going to keep pushing the safety pin in and pull like that okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up another safety pin and secure the end of the elastic because if it gets into that hole um, you're gonna have to start it all over again and you don't want to do that because it's a little stressful so I'm just going to secure the end of the elastic right there with another safety pin then I'm going to continue pushing the, the pin into that tube and pulling it When I get done here, I'm going to take the safety pin out and being careful with the two sides, the two ends. Then I'm going to align the elastic on top of each other. Then I'm going to secure it with a zigzag stitch. I'll be going up and down back and forth for several times just to make sure I have a good secure of the elastic I'm done attaching the elastic together and that is what it looks like I did wiggle it um, several times it back and forth so it's secured so I'm going to just push it into the casing then I'm going to distribute the elastic around like I'm doing here so when I'm done I have to go ahead and um, I'm going to stitch to cover up that space that I have right there I'm going to just stitch it down and here is what it looks like after I distributed the elastic so I'm going to go and finish the hem of the sleeve 
I will finish the edge then I'm going to fold it into one inch seam then I'm going to sew it all around I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom of the dress I've already finished the edge of it with a serger so I'm going to fold it into one inch and I'm going to stitch it all the way around. I'm done with the sleeves. Here it is what it looks like. I have stitched with one inch seam allowance. I finished the edges and I've ironed it too. I did the same thing with the other side of the sleeve and also the bottom of the dress. I have finished the edges and I have stitched it with one inch seam allowance. So that's pretty much what the dress is. So the little fabric that was left I use it to make a scarf which also could be used as a sash. So it's 9 inches wide and 80 inches long. So that is what I use for the scarf I'm wearing in my picture. I'm going to show you soon. Before the end of the video, I'm going to show you my picture. So that I'll be, the picture that you saw in the beginning of the video. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks for stopping by. If you make any of my videos, um, please tag me on it at CocoZini. So I can also share your photo on my platform so this is a very nice simple dress you can wear it as an off shoulder and you can just wear it straight so until the next time have fun stay safe and i will see you in the next video have a nice time bye bye